Hello. In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can extract the parameters of a statistical model from a sample of a random variable. In particular, the learning outcomes for this video are that by the end of the video, you should be able to explain how the parameters of a binomial random variable can be calculated from sample data using the method of maximum likelihood. Let's begin by motivating the problem that we are trying to solve here. As we saw in the very first video for this course, when we do experiments, we obtain data like the table shown here. This data is essentially a table of numbers, and the purpose of statistics is to make sense of tables of numbers such as this one. We make the connection between the data that we extract from experiments and probability theory by stating that each one of these data points is a random variable. Furthermore, we denote these random variables using capital letters like the capital X shown here. We have seen over the last few weeks that these random variables always have a cumulative probability distribution function, which tells us the probability that the random variable, capital X, is less than or equal to some particular value, small x. Similarly, we have also seen that for discrete random variables, we can also have a probability mass function that tells us the probability that the random variable capital X is equal to a particular value, small x. This brings us to the central question of this video. Can we find these probability distribution functions if we are given some data? In other words, if we are given the data at the top of this slide, can we find the cumulative probability distribution function for the random variable that the data was sampled from? The answer to this question of whether we can find the probability distribution if we are given some data is obvious. We absolutely cannot. The problem of finding the model that is that generated a particular set of data is said to be ill-posed. Furthermore, if you think about the way I pose the question, it is obvious that you cannot find the distribution function from just the data. I just gave you a table of data. I did not say that I had performed the same experiment a hundred times. I just told you that this was the data that I obtained. If this data is not all from the same experiment, it is not even clear that the data would be a series of samples of the same random variable. So, what do we do then? I have just told you that we cannot do what I said I was going to explain how to do at the start of the video. We cannot extract the model that generated the data if we are just given the data. What we have to do in order to make the connection between the statistical models and the data is that we have to make assumptions. For instance, if we are given a random variable, capital X, we can assume that this is a sample from a particular distribution. For instance, we might suppose that capital X is the sum of n independent Bernoulli trials. In other words, capital X is a binomial random variable. We know that the probability mass function of a binomial random variable is given by the expression shown at the bottom of this slide. The problem just reduces to finding the value of the parameter p in this expression. So what can we do to find p? Well, let's first note that we know the value of capital X because we did the experiment. Furthermore, we know that the term on the left-hand side of this equation is a probability, and then if for the particular value of capital X that we obtained in the experiment, this probability was low, the model would be very bad. If the probability of observing that capital X equals X was small, this would imply that it was very unlikely for us to have got the result that we did in the experiment. What we therefore need to do is adjust the value of the parameter p so as to make this probability on the left-hand side as large as it can possibly be. 
In other words, we want to adjust the parameter p so as to maximize the value of this probability on the left-hand side. We know how to maximize a function, however. We simply take the first derivative of the function and set it equal to zero. In this case, we thus need to differentiate the probability on the left-hand side of the equation with respect to the parameter p and set this equal to zero. When we do this differentiation for the function shown on the right-hand side of the equation at the top of the slide, we find, after some manipulation, that the derivative with respect to the parameter small p is given by the following expression. Now notice that the binomial coefficient is always greater than zero, and that p must be between zero and one. Consequently, this whole part outside the bracket cannot equal zero. It is the term in the bracket that must equal zero, as shown here. If we multiply out the brackets in this expression, we find, that the, we find the following. We can cancel out the factors of xp and minus xp, and then once the equation is rearranged, we find that the optimal value for the parameter p is x, the result of the experiment, divided by n, the number of experiments that were performed. If we thus suspect that we have, we have, by performing an experiment, performed n Bernoulli trials and thus generated a binomial random variable, we can estimate the parameter p for the random variable by taking the outcome of our experiment and dividing it by the number of trials that we performed. This concludes the material that I wanted to discuss in this video. As I explained at the start, I wanted to explain how the parameters of a binomial random variable can be calculated from sample data by using the method of maximum likelihood. As we have seen in this video, this work, method works by maximizing the probability of observing the result from the experiment. In other words, we differentiate the probability of observing the particular result that was seen in the experiment with respect to the parameter that appears in the probability mass function. I hope this is now reasonably clear. Take the quiz that follows, which takes you this, through this procedure for some other random variables. Thank you for your attention.